Hey guys, welcome to Boost Up Station and subscribe for more hacks at your doorstep. Okay, and today I will show you how to create multi boot USB in both Windows and Linux. Requirements NTFS for ISOs greater than 2 GB size, otherwise, FAT32 pen drive, Yumi to create multi boot USB, Wine for Linux to run Windows applications. Use the trick by me for booting ISO via NTFS pen drive in Linux like Ubuntu and there's no trick required in windows for booting ntfs and fat32 pen drive only you may require so let's just begin in here now in windows just open this pc and in here you can see that we have just plugged in our pen drive named as multi boot so we just want to right click on it and go to the format option if your iso file is less than 2 gb you need to select fat32 otherwise if your ISO file is greater than 2 GB in size, any because in the future also you may be having the ISO is greater than 2 GB in size. So for that you need to choose NTFS. Okay. And just click on start from here and just click on OK. And the format is complete. Now click on OK and close from here. So let's just launch the software. You me in here. Click on yes. Now click on I agree from here. Now you have to choose your pen drive. We have just formatted and choose your distribution from here if your distribution is not listed in here you need to choose this last third option that is try unlisted iso via grub if you are installing windows you need to choose this single windows vista 7 8 and installer all right so here we just choose the last third option as our iso is not listed in here and just browse the iso file from here this is mini tool partition wizard 10.2.3 and click on open now just click on create and click on yes now it will be creating a bootable pen drive for this iso file all right so now the it's all finished and the process is complete now click on next and if you want to add more resource click on yes otherwise click on no so click on finish now and remember if you want to create multi boot usb in linux with ntfs formatted pen drive then you need to boot any one ISO using Windows via Yumi, otherwise it won't work in Ubuntu or any other Linux distro. So this was the thing you need to remember. As we have just created one ISO using Yumi in Windows, so we can proceed for the further step for booting ISO in Linux. So for creating bootable pen drive multi-boot in Ubuntu or any other Linux distro, you need to install Wine. So for that just launch the terminal and copy these commands one by one. Select and drag and drop into here. Enter and enter your password of the user account. Then press enter. It's successfully added. Now just launch every command one by one. As it's already there so not retrieving. Otherwise in your case it will be retrieved from the internet. So better you should have an internet connection. This command will install wine into you want to now click on yes as it's going to retrieve 76.3 mbs of archives from the internet now just copy these more commands also these commands will install wine tricks now we can run windows applications in ubuntu all right so here yumi we have and here the ubuntu iso now just launch Yumi from here and just right click on this and choose open with other application as if this is not present in your case and here you have to choose wine installer click on select just open your pen drive it's right there and in the Yumi click on I agree and now click on show all drives and just choose your pen drive and here you can even view or remove your previously installed distros as this was added in here previously so we can either remove it but we don't want to remove it so we will untick this option and we will choose the distros present in here as we want to install ubuntu we will select ubuntu in here and click on browse and we will just browse the iso file it's right here just open it and click on create and now you can see that the all finished process is complete now click on next from here and click on no as we don't want to add more distros and click on finish so here you can see that we have this 
two options unlisted iso agra and the linux distribution first of all we will check the first iso we just booted and here is our iso now back to menu and now in the linux distribution we can see this also we had ubuntu that we booted using linux all right so we just got over both of the isos and let's just show you by booting one of them so now here you can see that the iso has been successfully booted so this way you can just boot multi isos into a single pen drive thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more